Hello. Gosh, it seems a long time since I connected with you and I've actually made a decision uh, to just blog on a monthly basis rather than a weekly basis uh, so that I can uh, put more reflection and more content into uh, what I want to convey. And it's the crazy season right now. It's so busy with if you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah and there's lots going on. It always goes a bit mental at this time of the year. And it, we've had some pretty bad news, um, you know, about my family. My poor dad is um, had some bad news uh, about his cancer. And one of the things I've noticed is that it's really caused uh, a, a deepening um, connection between my mum and dad. It's almost like they're they're really living and enjoying each other more than they've done for many, many years. And it's really lovely to see. And it reminded me of um, a very romantic gesture um, that my, my dad uh, did when he was courting my mum. And I remember the story well, because growing up on our mantelpiece, uh, there were always these China ducks. They were mallard ducks and they were covered in chips and they had been repaired many, many times. Uh, they'd been broken and stuck back together. Uh, but they were always on the mantelpiece. And it was because that uh, when my dad was courting my mum, he bought these ducks and he gave one to my mum. And he said to her, if I still feel the same way about you at Christmas as I do now, then one day these ducks will both be on the mantelpiece together. And it just seems such a lovely romantic gesture. And over the years, um, these poor little ducks <laughs> have really taken a battering because my parents have been married for 60 years, but it's a wonderful symbol. And I think what I kind of realize and take from, from everything that's going on right now is that we change so much in our life that what we held to be true for us in our 20s, changes in our 30s and our 40s. And, you know, one of the important things is, I believe, to really respond to where we are, who we are and who we're with in every single moment and celebrate what we have now rather than feeling depressed about the past or feeling anxious about the future. I think it's about really embracing the moment. And so I'd love to wish you um, season's greetings and a, a really wonderful Christmas, a happy Hanukkah and a, a, a brilliant new year. I think it's probably been up and down for lots of people and I'm incredibly grateful that you follow me, um, that you read my blogs and wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I'm sending love and hugs for a truly romantic time. Bye.